and my loyal viewers, supporters, and the one them we are watching now say nothing. No worries, worries. still yes. soon. Alright, love when you see them way. Yeah, so we up. The kitchen I get started. Yeah man. And we have some nice things that go on in there today. And for all of the people them way. Love them belly. Yeah man. The show I go start. Alright. Welcome once again to my kitchen, my loyal viewers and supporters. Alright, today I'll be preparing for you creamy chicken wraps. Alright, on my counter here I have all the ingredients in which I'll be using to make this lovely dish. Alright, here I have my chicken breast. In this container I have just about 2 pounds. It's already clean up, washed in vinegar water. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've placed just one piece on my cutting board with my cling wrap. Now I'm going to fold my cling wrap. I'm going to use my metal mallet here to just tenderize the meat a bit. And we're going to do it to each and every piece of the meat. Just to get it a little softer. I'm on the last piece now, so I'm going to, I have already transferred the rest to my silver pan next to me which I'm gonna take the last piece now I'm gonna place it in my silver pan see it's all tender all tender alright so I'm gonna add our chopped garlic should be using garlic powder but I don't have any right now so I'm just adding chopped garlic to create that marinade I have here quarter teaspoons of salt. I have my pimento sauce, all spice. I'm just gonna use a use a discretion. <laughs> and just use a discretion with this. Alright, that's just about it. Alright. I have my dragon fire pepper sauce all right so i'm gonna pour some amount of it and i don't want to pour too much you don't want it too spicy all right in this container here i have some blended seasoning all right i'm gonna pour some of it onto my chicken and this blended seasoning contains escalian thyme sweet pepper the whole works i'm gonna add just one egg break it into the mix i'm gonna add half a cup all-purpose flour to the mix i'm gonna add quarter cup water I'm gonna now mix everything, combine everything all together to create a marinade. Alright, the secret to achieving great taste to your dishes, your meals, whatever you wanna call them, is flavor. Once you add the right flavors, the right seasonings to your mix, trust me, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Once you add the right amount of seasoning flavors can't go wrong look at this marinade it's looking so lovely now i'm gonna set this aside for maybe about half an hour before i bread it with my flour and my breadcrumbs then add it to some oil to be fried all right so stay tuned for the next part welcome back my viewers so while we're off here I had to add just about one teaspoon of anise powder, cumin powder, coriander powder to the marinade. Here we have the marinade in this container here and it was left there for just about half an hour and in this tray I have just about one and a half cups of all-purpose flour which the chicken will be placed in the flour to be breaded and then place on this tray to be added to the oil for the frying. Alright, 
I'm adding pieces of meat to the floor. So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna cover it in flour. Alright, so of the air, I had set just about two cups of oil in my frying pan here and it has been eating up for a while so it has reached the temperature that we want to achieve. Alright, so as you can see all the chicken has been um, breaded and ready to be added to the oil. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add them piece by piece. Alright, and we, we're going to aim to achieve a golden brown color for our chicken. Alright, just about three pieces. I'm going to allow each side to fry until we achieve a golden brown texture. Alright, so as you can see, a light golden brown texture has been achieved to one side. Alright, so I'm going to transfer the fried pieces to my over here lined with paper towel I don't want some, some amount of the oil to drain from the chicken so when I remove them piece by piece add it to my then add the rest of pieces for the frying alright so just stay tuned so the frying has been completed look at the texture of our chicken golden brown looking so lovely so the chicken is completed right look how lovely it looks awesome all right so we're gonna move on to the next segment of the meal welcome back my people all right the time has come for us to make the creamy sauce all right so in my dish here i have just about a teaspoon of barbecue spice i have same amount of cumin powder i have here red chili pepper some thyme leaves dry thyme leaves i have my paprika spice and just about a two cups of salt now these will be added to this container along with just about four tablespoons of mayonnaise and this is in this quarter cup here i have sweet honey mustard and in this container i have some yogurt so all these will be added to this bowl to create that creamy sauce Alright, so we didn't need to go 40 teaspoons, 3 is good enough. I'm right, going to add my yogurt and we're going to use all of the yogurt. So you can just turn the container over and empty it. Alright, so I'm going to add all of my sweet honey mustard to the bowl here. Then I'm going to add my seasonings that are in my dish. On the contrary, 
you can substitute this mustard for lemon juice it gives the same tanginess as the mustard does so if you don't have any mustard or if you don't like the taste of mustard you can just use one tablespoon of lemon juice now it's time to mix everything all together Alright, so uh, the mixing is partially complete, so we're going to set it aside and now we're going to move on to making our wraps, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to make the wrap. Alright, so I'm going to take my tablespoon here and I'm going to add some sauce just about in the center doesn't matter the quantity of sauce you use use to your discretion the amount of sauce that you wish to add to the wrap all right for me this is good enough i'm going to add my chicken right on top of the sauce after which i'm going to add my tomato slices nice I'm gonna add my carrot, shredded carrot, on top. And I have my shredded bell peppers, neatly cut. I have my shredded onions. That's just about it. Thinly sliced cabbage then I'm gonna add my lettuce on top last but not least shredded cheese on top hey where y'all go don't run away y'all gonna get eaten today don't play with me you know. all right now we're gonna fold now we're gonna fold so you bring the two ends in, hold it that it don't spill. Bring that side in from bottom, bring it up to the middle, and you roll it. And roll it. Right. So it's time now to close the wrap. Alright, so we have on this spatula here just about a tube of butter, which I'm gonna add to the heated frying pan I'm just gonna circulate that oil in the frying pan ensure that the flame is on low I'm gonna add my wrap to it so we take our wrap in hand and place it on the closed side first Let it sit there for maybe about 30 seconds and then we're going to spin it on the other side.
God, Anya, where did you get your from? Shit, please. Mm. Good. I tell you. Thanks again for tuning into Dean's Kitchen. Please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell for any new content we drop. Yeah, man. Alright, like, share, leave your comments below. Any questions or comments, respect.